think it is okay so it's a piece of heat sink that comes right down on top of the hard drive right there so before I do anything let's see battery well, that's not so spiffy I kind of hoped I could get the disconnect the battery that does not pull out so <clears throat> I guess we're not going to disconnect the battery I would say the battery should be disconnected, but who am I? You have a little piece of tape that's kind of holding this shielding in place. And you get one side lifted up. And the other side will come right on up. So let's push that back together because that should just slide back up in there. So that's uh, probably, I don't know, this is, looks like it's got some thermal transfer goop there. Um, so that's like RF shielding. Um, you have these little wings on each side of your memory right here. See? That'll uh, release it. And this is slot two. So we'll pull this back. You see that ear come up just a little bit? Pull this up, and you can see it pop up just a little bit because it's, it's kind of spring-loaded. Come on up, pull it out. I should be able to install the eight gigabyte, but I mean, I may have slow down issues, and I don't want to slow down. And so this is 32 gigabyte. That's the crucial, and it only fits in one way, so be sure to slip it into the slot all the way and push straight down on the corners, and these will pop out and around and lock it back into place. So now the 32 gigabytes of RAM is installed. So let's get this line back up, get that lined up between on both sides and pop it back down and reaffix the tape all right okay so some of the things that I'm doing here that you should not do uh, you should be wearing a static wrist strap with this kind of stuff um, I have no respect for computers believe me trust me I've worked on them too many times I've built computers too many times I have no respect for computers, and they blow up, they don't blow up. They blow up, I fix them, but regardless, um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't take all the precautions that I should take. Uh, and, you know, some of this I'm not thinking about until later. Uh, there was a little dog where my little brother was, and... So a lot of the little doggy's hair is in here. So anyway, you should have a wrist strap and it should be grounded to an earth ground so that you're not worrying about any issues as far as static electricity. And I should have figured out how to disconnect the power on the battery from the board. Uh, the power cord is unplugged, but the battery is still plugged in. And so the battery is still active and hot and charged and so you could potentially short something on this laptop by not disconnecting the battery. So I don't. I recommend that you make sure you get your battery disconnected. I just couldn't get that plug to pull out. I don't know if there's a secret catch to it or what. Uh, this is the battery management uh, system, I believe, right in here, and that's the connection to the battery for the battery management. And this is the power connections. Uh, you have the red, white, yellow, black, would be your negative, your positive, and then um, 
the red, the yellow and white and blue and whatever on there. In my opinion, I believe that would be the uh, possibly different voltage supplies or some type of load balance in, in charging the circuit. Or I don't know. I, I don't know that much about laptops. So well, let's get it, put it back together. So let's get this positioned over the top. And then this should basically be a matter of snapping it down. They, they weren't, it wasn't near as easy to snap it back down into place as it was to, or as hard as it was to pull it apart to begin with. So you don't have to, you don't have to put a lot of downward pressure to get it to snap in. And right here was the existing 512 gigabyte hard drive. And right here is the memory. So let's get these screws back into place. You remember the two silver ones was the corner pieces. Right here. I love the little impact built into this. Now, um, you can take and put all your screws back in at this point, really, except for two. Remember these four and these two are the same length. You know something? I'm a Gerber. I'm a Gerber. Don't put these screws here in. Don't be a Gerber like me. And I'll show you why, which you can already see, because I am such a Gerber that it is just obvious how of my Gerberness is just obvious. And you see these two tabs? They're screw tabs. And they go underneath there. <laughs> hey, look. This is it. Look, okay. I'm a Gerber. A goober. I'm a goober. So you don't have to be. Because I was a goober for you. See, there you owe me. You owe me a like and, and a subscribe for being a Gerber just for you. How many people do you know would be a Gerber for you? Okay, and lastly, we've got these four screws right here. Let me be careful, because this is usually where I end up dropping screws and losing stuff, and everything goes south, and I'm as far south as I want to be right now. I don't know if you can hear my little buddy in there howling. And there we go. Okay, so I can hear you. I heard you. I heard you say it. I know. I know. How do you know it's ever going to work again? So this is how you're going to know that this worked perfect. The memory, perfect, 32 gigabytes of memory. You're going to know because you're going to see this video. If you don't ever see this video, then it didn't work, and I wasn't able to uh, edit it and upload because this is what I use to edit and upload videos and yeah I heard that too I can't believe you treat your editing computer like that well you may have missed the part where I said I hate computers in case you missed it here it is again I hate computers I have no respect for them I don't like the goobers I think computers is goober than I am so I said it out loud for everyone to hear Alrighty, so like I said, if you see this video, there's a reason. This all works. <laughs> Comment below, let me know what you think. Tell me what I did wrong, and I'm serious about that. I do mean tell me what I did wrong, because like I said, I don't, I, I've, I've worked on desktops and everything else throughout the years, and I haven't really worked on computers in a, in a long time. And com laptops was not a big thing that I worked on a lot. And so, you know, I don't want to mislead anybody into thinking that's why I tried to name some things that you shouldn't do that I did. And if there's more that you know about, make sure to put the comments below because I want everybody to know because I want them to gain from your experience as well as mine. So anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you again soon. It's very important to me and I thank you for spending it here with me. Thanks and God bless.